Good morning and welcome to St. John's Broad Creek. We'll begin this morning with a prelude. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Kathy, you need to unmute. Yes, yes. Which, <laughs> sorry. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, 
Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, and now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Psalm 34, 9 through 14. Please read responsibly my whole verse. Fear the Lord, you that are his saints, but those who fear him lack nothing. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. Come, children, and listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who among you loves life and desires long life to enjoy prosperity? Keep your tongue from evil speaking and your lips from lying words. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Proverbs 9, chapter 9, verses 1 through 6. Wisdom has built her house. She has hewn her seven pillars. She has slaughtered her animal. She has mixed her wine. She has also set her table. She has sent out her servant girls. She calls from the highest places in the town. You that are simple, turn in here. To those without sense, she said, Come, eat of my bread and drink of the wine. I have mixed, let, lay aside immaturity and live and walk in the way of insight. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Set 
Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Euphrasians, chapter 5, beginning at the 15th verse. Be careful, then, how you live, not as unwise people, but as wise, making the most of the time, because the days are evil. But do not be foolish. But understand that the will of the Lord is. Do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery. debauchery sorry. But be filled with the Spirit. spirit. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Do not get drunk with wine. Can you hold on a minute? <clears throat> Do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs among yourselves, singing and making melody to the Lord in your hearts, giving thanks to God, the Father of all time, for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from John, chapter 6, beginning at the 51st verse. Jesus said, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats of this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. The Jews then disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give his, uh, his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life. And I'll raise them up on the last day. My blood abides in me. 
excuse me, for flesh is the true food, and my blood is true spirit. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them, just as a living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father. So whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Not like that which your ancestors ate, and they died. But the one who eats this bread will live, will live forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now let us profess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God. You have given your only son to be for us a sacrifice for sin and also an example of godly life. Give us grace to receive thankfully the fruits of his redeeming work and to follow daily in the blessed steps of his most holy life. Through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A colic for guidance. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but we may remember that we are ever walking in your sight through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And for those we pray for. We pray especially for Sandra, James, Geneva, Karen, Preston, Jackie, Nancy, Michael, Ed, Henry, Huma, Rashad, Tony, and those who we remember now, either silently or aloud. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, 
receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Amen. A prayer of Saint Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, he will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen.
bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. <laughs> Thank you.